I know why you're here. You're here to learn how to do awesome and sick transitions inside of DaVinci Resolve. So let's go ahead and hop into DaVinci Resolve and see what we're gonna be learning how to create today. The two transitions we're gonna go over today, this quick, fast, matching cut transition. And then the second transition we're going over today is just a flash cut. So you see those two flashes right there. So those are the transitions that we're gonna be going over today. And they are both super simple to do. Let's go ahead and just go over the footage really quickly. As you can see, we have this opening shot of this guy lifting up his fist to start boxing. And then we have a couple fast cuts right here. So just one, two, three, four clips. What we did is added a riser to be building in the intensity into those fast paced shots. So right here. So you can hear that riser kind of coming up as he's lifting his fist and that is preparing you to be able to go into those fast, quick transitions. Once we hit that riser, then what we're gonna do is go into having those clicks so you can kind of hear it happening and your brain's gonna associate the fast clicks with those fast little cuts in that transition. Let's go ahead and listen to the riser and with the camera shutter. So now you can see how that kind of all comes together and feels natural and it feels smooth because the audio is actually giving your brain an idea of what is supposed to be happening with the images. Next, all I did was add a small little whoosh in between the main image and the end. And then right here, I added one more whoosh right at the very beginning of the fast clicks. So you can hear that it's now also indicating that that's a transition that's happening. My final little thing is at the very beginning of the video, I added just a little bit of a bass sound hitting into the video. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a quick pause for our sponsor. This video today is brought to you by Audio. If you're a creator like me, music and sound design are just as important as creating amazing visuals. That's why I use Audio for my music and sound design. And with Audio's new AI search tool, you can guarantee to find the perfect music for your project fast and easy. Check the description below where you can use my code to get 70% off Audio today. Now, back to the video. Let's go over to the second transition that we did in this video, and that is this flash transition. And I love, 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 love doing this transition in almost all of my videos, because I think it's such a cool transition. How a camera actually takes a photo is, is it creates a negative, and it's basically capturing all the light and data. And so recreating that in a video, having the camera actually capture the data, I think is a cool way to indicate like, a film transition, right? Or like a photo transition. So we have this image and then we cut to a negative image of the same image with a camera sound effect happening. So if you listen, you can hear the camera sound effect and you can hear a slight ringing afterwards. And that's gonna be indicating capturing something and that's gonna be indicating that this transition is happening and it's a little bit easier on your eyes as it all plays forward. So right here, how to do the negative transition, all you need to do is just cut your video at about one or two frames, press Alt and drag up the image, and then come over here into your effects, type in invert, and then type in invert color and put invert on top of your image. And usually for this transition, I like to do it on the shot before and the shot after. So I'll do two frames on the shot before and one frame on the shot after. That way it's not so glaring on your eyes. And now you can see that happening. These transitions work really, really well, especially with high impact moments. So anytime there's a high impact moment or even a very soft, quiet moment, it's a great transition to use just to kind of bring in energy or bring or tone down the energy. So you can see I use it to bring in energy and also tone it down at the exact same time. So let's go back into this and as you can see, you do that same thing, it flashes right there. You hear that slight ringing. Then as he punches it, we go back into a negative right there, back into that negative, and then back into the regular image. And you can kind of just hear that ringing slowly fade off as he closes his eyes. Okay, now other things that you can do with this is you can come into the composite mode and just kind of play with how you would like that invert to happen. There's a, hot, there's a lot of really cool effects that you can actually do with this. Sometimes what I like to do is use luminosity because it gives a slightly just different look to it, which is a fun way to just kind of mix up this transition a little bit. The last little transition that I like to do is just a simple tiny blur transition that you can see happening between these two scenes. So as 
his eye comes into focus. He then closes it and there's a slight blur that happens and this scene is nice and blurry and then it comes back into focus right there. Really simply how to create that. Come over to effects, grab an adjustment layer. I did it on the clip in this case. So I'm gonna come right here and go into fusion. I know if you haven't used fusion, it can be intimidating, but just bear with me. And all we're gonna do is just type in lens blur. Go down to lens blur or go up to lens blur, click it, put it on. And now right here, click zero to give us a keyframe, go to the middle. I'm gonna bring this up to, we'll bring it down to about five right here. And then at the very end of the, then at the very end of the clip, I'm gonna bring this back down to one. And so now you can see that happening here. And I might've overdone it just a little bit. This is one that you wanna do very subtly. But as you can see, it kind of feels like you're losing focus, but then gaining back focus really quickly, which is what I'm trying to get that character to feel in this exact moment. That one could probably be dialed down just a little bit, so let's go ahead and do that. Come back into here, go back into Fusion, go to that main, go to that middle keyframe, and maybe just bring it down. So it's just a very subtle effect that happens, and now we can see that play through. Those are the three transitions that I wanted to show you in this video today. I hope you learned something valuable, and if you didn't, please comment that below and tell me how I can help you better. Thank you so much, and thank you for watching. Well, love ya. Bye.